The next pair of angle relationships we're going to look at are these two. Alternate interior is one of them, and the other one's called same side interior. So first, let's focus on alternate interior angles. As it says over here, they're on opposite sides of the transversal. So to remind you, this red line here is what we call the transversal. And the reason why is it cuts through these other two lines. And in this case, the lines are also parallel, by the way. So it's also not only on opposite sides of this red line, so it's either above the red line or below it, but also they're inside the pair of, in this case, parallel lines. So they're between parallel line number one and parallel line number two. So they're somewhere in between there. So when it turns out, if we want to look at this here, if we're looking for opposite and inside, B and G would be on opposite sides of the transversal, and they're in between the parallel lines. So that is a one pair of alternate interior angles. Also, there's another pair. That would be D and E, because once again, they're between the parallel lines and they're on opposite sides of the transversal. So we have two pairs of what we call alternate interior angles. And over here it says, if the lines are parallel, and they are in this case, alternate interior angles are congruent. Now, if the lines aren't parallel, they aren't gonna be congruent. But let's say right now B was you know, 52 degrees, that means that G has to be 52 degrees as well. They're gonna be always gonna be the same here if the lines are parallel. So that's one type of angle. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this here. So we also have what we call same side interior angles. So the difference is they're on the same side of the transversal and inside the pair of lines. So for instance, if I was looking at this here, I'm gonna use a different color now. D and G would be a pair. So D, oops, they're on the D and there's my G. So D and G would be a pair because they're on the same side. They're both below the transversal and they're between the parallel lines. My other ones here would be B and E. So I'm going to say B and E. Now the difference is, is if our lines are parallel here, they're not going to be congruent. If they're same side interior and the lines are parallel, they're going to be supplementary. So what do I mean by that? For instance, if this was 120 degrees, this angle over here would have to be 60. All right, so those are our other two relationships that we're looking at in this chapter.